Bells here. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to rig a head. I'm going to teach you how to rig the left, right, up, and down. All right? And maybe, you know what? I am throwing the Z-axis. We'll, we'll do it all. We'll rig all the head. So, your model looks something like this, right? You just imported it. First thing you want to do is make sure your draw order is correct. Because draw order is basically the layer order. So, you see how it says 500? If I up this to 501... Now it's gonna be above the face. So you'll want you'll want the line art layer be below the face, if you have a line art layer. Some people just have these together and that is completely okay. So what you're gonna to wanna to do after you get the draw order correct is you're going to click shift and select both of them. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna make my own mesh because I don't like how their meshes are made. And this just basically adds the points that lets you move your model. So I'm gonna add my own. You can come over here to mirror edit you can move so it's directly in the middle, like that. Then what you'll want to do is you'll want to just make a rough outline of your model. So basically do what I'm doing on this right side. Oh, and if you mess up, just click on do, don't worry. Do not drag it because it will not move on the other side. See, don't do that. So if you mess up, it's better just to undo it. And you're just come over here and make yourself a little outline. I'll come back to you once I'm done. All right, so you completed the outline. But now what we're going to do is we're going to come down here and click right below the liner. And then we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to just outline the, basically the outline. What we're going to do is we we're going to, basically what this does is make sure whenever we're moving these points to like, for the face turn, it doesn't make the outline blurry. And that's why you would do this. If if you do it and you don't like it, you can just use one of the presets. Or if you don't fill up to it, the presets are perfectly fine. This is just my preferred method to make sure your model never becomes pixely. Because that's a problem I've had quite a lot. It's pixely models. And what you'll do is then you'll just make a point down the center. Just to make sure that this is beautiful. Then you come over here and click auto connect. And there we go. So now if I grab these cheeks, it's going to smoothly grab it, you see? All right, now we're ready. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and click this. This is a warp deformer. We're going to call it face X, Y. And number of convision divisions, we're going to up this to personally, my favorite number is 40, but that is an extreme amount of dots, but it makes it silky smooth. See the less amount of dots, like say the default five, it just kind of, you know, see how not cheeked it is? I'm trying to grab the cheek, but it's just grabbing half the face. So personally, you can up it to like 15, you can up to 20. I just like 40 as a personal preference. We're only worried about angle X, angle Y, and Z. But currently, we're worried about angle X. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit this three, and it's going to create three key forms. 30, all the way on the right, is when you're looking to the right. And the opposite can be said when you're looking to the left. So negative 30 is when you're looking to the left. What we only need to do is we only need to rig one of the sides because we can um, we can come over here and click reflect motion and reflect whatever we do on this side to the opposite. So say uh, if I grab if I grab this cheek and it goes like this and I come over here and reflect motion, now the other cheek gets grabbed like that. Pretty cool, right? So now uh, what we're going to do we're gonna make it two and then three like this. So we get an extra dot right here. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this dot, this dot right here. We're gonna click shift and drag it this way. You click shift so it doesn't go up or down or anything. And you click this dot right here, bring it forward a little bit. And we'll do the same for this. We're just bringing all these forward a smidge. So right now we have this. It's kind of there, isn't it? Then what you do is you grab this brush and you can change the size by coming over here or clicking B and dragging with your mouse. I personally use this so whenever you see um, it go right, that's just me holding down B and dragging my mouse because I just find it faster than coming all the way over here for just a quick adjustment, you know? So what we're gonna do is we're going to make this cheek come out a little bit and then we're gonna try and straighten up the rest of the face. We're gonna make the forehead come out a little bit. We're still gonna try and keep the model kind of round because a classic anime feel has like these round, roundish face whenever they turn. So we're gonna try and keep that, but at the same time, still make it, you know, come out a little bit. 
And over here, we're actually going to delete this jawline, basically. We're going to try and straighten it out a bit. Because one thing I noticed, for some odd reason, is anime characters do not have jaws once they turn. Does anybody else notice that? For the most part, they just lose their jawline. So yeah, we have something like this. What you also want to do is you come over to here and you can scooch the entire thing down. Because a lot of the times, it comes with turns. Now, you can come over here, click Reflect Motion, or Control r in my case. You can Reflect Motion. Boom. If your keybinds are not the same as mine, you can just come in here into settings and keyboard shortcuts. I don't know if mine are custom or not. Honestly, I've changed them like two years ago, so they may be. But if not, reflect motion is just right here. But yeah, see, you got a simple little head turn. And that, if you come over here to modeling and physics, you can just see that looks pretty good. That looks, I'm kind of in the way. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be real with you. I'm in the way. Whoops, there we go. <laughs> See, that looks pretty good. Looks like she's turning. She's turning around. Now what we're going to do is for the face Y, we're going to go into the middle. We're going to click on face uh, angle Y. Three dots again. 30 is when you're looking up. Negative 30 is when you're looking down. So what we're going to do is uh, 30. We're going to come over here and drag this, this bottom dot. Shift. We're going to drag this up a little bit. We're going to drag this up a little bit. We're going to drag this up a little bit. And so it gets something like this. It's just not perfect, but roughly what we want. And then we are want to hit this little dot or this little thing right here. Sorry, my antlers are in the way. And then we're going to click this. It brings up a temporary deform tool. So now we're going to come in here. We're going to change from temporary warp under deformation method to perspective. Then we're going to expand the bottom of the jaw like that. And then shrink the top. So it's something like that. So going up is more like this. You can make it a little bit more detailed if you want with your brush. You can just kind of go like this. Do little fix fixes ups. Like the noggin seems a little bit too round. So I'm going to smoosh it in a little bit. A lot of this requires fiddling. And then if you like how it looks, you can come over here. Reflect motion. Reflect vertically. And then... Now you have your downwards motion, except for we're gonna actually want to drag the head up a little bit. So when you look up, it moves up and then we're gonna reflect it vertically. So there we go. And you may be noticing, well, my character got a concussion. They have a little, they have a little indent in the head. Cause sometimes it does that. You can just come over here, grab the brush and just fix it. Sometimes it just gives your character a little bit of brain damage. It's fine, it's an easy fix. I don't know why it does that for me quite a lot. You just gotta fix the dent sometimes. Sometimes there's some be there gonna be some dents for fixing. There you go. And now if you click this little hook which connects them together, you'll notice if I go to this this angle right here, he doesn't look up anymore. What you want to do? Come over here, synthesize corners, and basically you'll use AI to add the corners of the model. These sometimes are really messy and you may need to fix them up, but I think mine are pretty good. So if we go into the uh, physics menu, you'll see we got a pretty good face rig. There you go, pretty snazzy. And now for the, uh, the Z angle, which is basically you tilting your head, you want to grab the face, the X, Y that we made, and then we want to come over here where it says uh, create rotation deformer. You want to click this, um, face Z is what I'm going to call it. Click create. Now, if you try and drag it, it's, it's just gonna drag the entire thing. And if you turn, your character's not turning their head right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click control and we're going to drag this down. You can hold shift to keep it in the middle too. So right there, gonna turn by this chin point. And then we're gonna go to angle Z, create three. 30's uh, tilting your head right, negative 30's tilting your head left. So yeah, that's pretty much all. You just tilt it. Uh, reflect it, reflect it horizontally, and boom! So you can have your turn, and then you also have your head tilt. Woo! Ta-da! And then nice! There you go, simple head, simple head turns, you know? It doesn't take too, uh, too long. It only took, what, 10 minutes? There you go! Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I will be posting another video soon, maybe showing off how to rig eyes or whatever you are interested in. Post down in the comments below what you guys want a tutorial of next, and I can work on that. Whether that's something like a more advanced tutorial or something simplistic like this one. Thank you for stopping by the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Ta-ta!